Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Kevka Retro here, and it's time for The Room 2. Now, in the last game, we uh, did three major puzzles, as it were, and it ended at a point where, well, it took you to this weird door, or through this weird door with like black vines out around it or whatever. And it took you through there, and then uh, the game ended. So I don't know what the next puzzle is, so we'll just give it a go. Right, so this must be a room where we've ended up, and there's another tutorial, so we'll just play for that quickly. Click and drag the mouse to look around, yep. This is pretty much should be the same controls as last time. Double click to focus on note. Turn the page, what does it say? If my calculations are correct, then this is where you'll emerge. Welcome friend, we have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that, that your, pa your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust you in your wit to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. Signed by AS, which is the same fellow from the last game. Let's just go back. Oh, tell me to click the eyepiece. Yeah, in the last part we broke the lens because a massive light or explosion kind of thing happened and the lens broke. So let's see if we can fix it again because that lens is pretty important for us to see stuff. Let's see, um, click back on the to, uh, icon to exit, yep, okay. Right click to zoom out, right, zoom out for the rest of the room. Okay, so unlike the last game, this game has multiple things in the same room. Right, double click on the round box, yep. Rotate that, yep. Push the button, yep. Okay, so it opens up a lid. Now there's some kind of puzzle. Um, I'll skip what it says there, but I seem to be able to rotate that and there's some shapes in the end. I think I just have to slide in the right shape, so that must be one, yep. Yeah. Um, that one is, an, is another. And that one is another. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, give me some kind of handle, and there's a lens, yay. A particular looking lens. Uh, the lens looks like it'll fit the eyepiece, so let's see. Yep. Now I finally got my, my eyepiece back. Oh, okay, there's a fingerprint. Click it, and it opens something up. And now I've got a uh, hexagonal piece. OK, you should try and find where this piece can be used. So let's go out. Let's take the eyepiece off. So let me check that table again. Um, there's a letter here. Let me read that quickly. Right, 23rd of October, 1883. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station than your, as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. D. Montfaucon is fa fond of saying, needs must be the devil. Needs must as the devil drives. It falls to me then to brief, it, brief you in your ungodly task, as you should be well aware. You shall only be paid upon your unsuccessful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes, of, eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. In unconditionally, in unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way, Oh, in, I unconditionally demand that you do not re interact with the object in, in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Okay, fair enough. So let's go back and see where that piece goes. Right, so here, let's look at this table. Right, there are some rectangular pieces or shapes on the table. So let me see if I can put the piece in here. I can, and that appears to open something. It looks like another piece is still missing. Okay, fair enough. Um, looks like a piece is missing. Okay. Nothing I can do there. So let's go and look back on this table. What's this box in the center of the room? Looks like it requires a piece to fit in the top as well. Oh, look, it's just sitting on the side. Fair enough. A small metal shaped thing, okay. So again we go and place that in the other one, I presume. 
and we should have oh, if it actually fits yeah that should open and what happens some kind of weird object we'll take that round okay we'll take that round yep now I can take it out okay so a strange brass sphere it looks like it belongs somewhere well that's round so let's see if I can put it in here Yep, I can. And an eye appears. Okay, now I can rotate this around. Perhaps the code is hi hidden in the room somewhere. Okay, so it looks like, depending on which way I go, it types letters. And I can only go to a let letter that's next in, well, adjacent in the order. So I can't go to N now, for example. I can go to W or E. Okay, so where would this note, uh, this, this um, clue be, or code? Let's check the letter, the both letters I'll check to see if it says anything. Right. It's got some words here. It's a five letter word, was it? Was it a five letter word? Let me check. Um, yeah, it's a five letter word. So I'm looking for some kind of five letter word or phrase or just letter combination. <coughs> That's only four. Value, uh, ha oh yeah, it also has to have letters N, E, S and W in it. For north, east, south, west. So no, not there. Check the other thing. Nope. Okay. Well, now let me just check for the IPs because that's always useful when you uh, are stuck on things. It could be hidden somewhere. Check in the room. Nope. Anywhere else in the room? Nope. Anyone on this table? Ah. Okay, that's it. S E S W N, I think it says. Let me just take a look, closer look if I can. Yeah, S E S W N. Okay. So if we go back to that, S E S W N. Release it, and something weird happens, and now I've got some kind of round object. It looks like, this looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Okay. I can pull that out. I'm going to pull that out. Oh, okay, fair enough. It turns into a square. Now, if I remember seeing it correctly, there was a square on top of that box. Does it go in that? Indeed, it does. Okay. Alright, some kind of weird, um, let's see. Telescope type thing? Can I click it? What does it do? Ah, okay. So it shows shapes. Okay, so I'll rub that. Okay. And that rotates around. Okay, so I guess I have to find another shape. That's fairly straightforward. Where are you, shape? On the floor. Over there. Ah, okay. It's hidden away in the corner. That's actually quite hard to see because of the shadows of the uh, pillar thing. Anyway, yeah, so got that one. Now there must be another one then. Um, oh, found it straight away. Okay, that, that's three shapes. Now what do I do? How do I find another one? Nope, nope. What the fuck? Was she always there? It's actually kind of scary. Um, line those two up. That must. Well, I was gonna say that must be the artifact, but it's gone missing. So now what do I do? Okay, now it looks like I have to put together a piece again. Where? Ah, okay. Okay, easy. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. This seems a lot more creepier than the last game, actually, to be completely honest with you. Like, way more creepier. I hope nothing, like, fucked up happens. And I hope that angel doesn't follow me around, because that's kind of scary. Ah, oh, chapter complete. Ah, oh, okay, so a short part. What I'm going to do, then, is I'm going to end the video here, because, unlike the last video, I think I did a couple of parts in one video. I'm just going to do it episode at a time. But that seemed pretty straightforward, other than the fact that there's now two different uh, pedestals with puzzles on top of them. But, um... 
yeah, that's uh, part two. I mean, that's part one of the room two. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you all later for part two of the room two. There's a crazy phrase. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.